healing through horses. The treatment for the impaired has been around for more than 60 years, but hippotherapy, as it's called, does not receive wide attention. Hippo, a Greek word for horse. WLWT News 5's John London takes us to a facility tucked away in Milford where dedicated staff and volunteers are trying to shine more light on what they do and why. He's been riding for two years. Four and a half year old Luke Kendall. You reach? Today he'll be on Rose, a mature Heflinger who prefers wearing her blonde forelock Vera Fawcett style, or so we're told. If, if there's one thing Cincinnati therapeutic riding and horsemanship does not lack, it's personality. Horses do not have a poker face. They read your body language, they smell your nervous system. Mom did not know how any of this would go at first. He walked up that ramp and got on that horse like he was a cowboy in another life. <laughs> and it's been that way ever since. Emily Kendall's son has Down syndrome and Hirschsprung's disease, a condition where part of the colon lacks nerve endings. Luke's small intestine is routed to his stomach and can come loose. So strengthening his core is a game changer. And Luke is doing that without realizing it through the natural stride and movement of these trained animals. If you're working on strength, if you're working on stability and balance, we know there's the scientific evidence behind it that this intervention works. We've had riders who said their first words ever to a horse, parents in tears because they've never heard their child talk. With just a handful of trained staff, this nonprofit relies on grants, donations, and dozens of volunteers like Ellie Haywood. I, I can't even explain how amazing it is to see them light up the confidence. An occupational therapist has a sidewalker or two who concentrate on the rider, and someone like Teresa Deutsch who focuses solely on the horse. If a bird flies through or a big truck goes by or something that they're not used to, it's most important that I watch them to make sure that they're calm. Graham Cracker's so calm, he once lived in his owner's home and rested on the couch. Here's Mocha and Tater Tot, whose registered name is Go Big or Go Home. As you'd expect, the miniature horses are an instant hit with school children. You can tell by the wondrous expressions on the faces of these CPS elementary students and by the longstanding partnership with Children's Hospital absolutely invaluable to our organization, to the patients and families that we serve here. 78 last year, 178 for the group runs. They want to grow, maybe add three more horses and more magical moments. You can see the sparkle in their eyes, like when they, when you look at them and they, they're just so excited to, to get going. The emotional connection, child to horse, is undeniable. Here's three examples to sort of frame what I'm talking about. The messages hanging here on the wall are for Dixie, a Welsh pony who was one of the original horses at CTRH. Sonny, an Appaloosa, is also missed and memorialized. Same for Streaker. You won't discover derby dynamism here. What you do have is something that reaches well beyond a racetrack finish line. And the children are always very excited to come back every week. That's what the parents say is they're already at the gate. They're smiling or they're saying their horse's name or they're starting to jump up and down. Conditions allowed for Luke to get a trail ride on this day. When he's older, reconnective surgery is planned. For now, this connection has helped him blossom on 19 acres of what families consider to be healing ground. What I want people to know about CTRH so many times, if you have a loved one with a disability, you have to navigate people's assumptions that your loved one can't. When you walk in to this barn, that goes away. They have an expectation that you can, and that is rare to find. In Milford, John London, WLWT News 5. What a special gift that they are giving those kids and families. I got to tell you, Luke is a cool customer. He's handsome to begin with. Then you throw one of those helmets on him and he looks ready for that. And he handled it well, too. John London uh, always telling a great story. Yeah. That was beautiful to hear.